are on our final section of jQuery, jQuery FX, jQuery FX. So we'll probably just be doing a little bit more like with what we were doing with the event handling and stuff like that. So uh, write the necessary jQuery code to hide your div as soon as the HTML document is loaded. So we have to first get our document ready and in here, oops, not ready. And then we want a function to do some stuff. And so what we want to do is immediately hide any divs. So we have to say, find this element div and do this something or another to it. Uh, do um, hide it. And I believe you have to give us hide slow. So you can see right there, it seems to be working. Do you call hide on your jQuery object? Oh, semicolon. All right, maybe it doesn't want slow, maybe it just wants hide. There you go. Um, let's begin by begin by, tar by targeting our image inside here. So our image is just IMG, so IMG. Let's animate our image go down by 100 pixels. So minus 100 px. And let's make it happen in one second or 1,000 milliseconds. On the speed, let's see one. So we're doing milliseconds, so that's 1,000. So now when we save and submit, it should drop this down. Your top counter should be increasing, not decreasing. So <laughs> my mistake. Push over one second, it should have decreased there. It looks like your elevator didn't move down 100 pixels in one second. Did you add 100 px to the top? Yes. Check the hint if you need help. Uh, I don't think we need help. It just didn't work. <laughs> so uh, animate the top. Actually, yeah, this needs to be changed as well. I believe that goes there. And then you can see right there, it dropped down now. So they had the code in the editor a little bit wrong so that we could fix it. We're back with our uh, Krypton example. So it says in our script JS, get your document ready. All right, so document ready. And oops. Then we want a function to do some stuff. And pass it on a dot click event handler is on your div. So we want to say for the div or divs dot click, what do we want to do? We want another function. And in here, we want it to do some stuff as well. And for that, we want our div to give it the input, the effect, dot effect. And then there is something called explode. Is that a style sheet? No, it, it might just be something built into jQuery. So now when we click on it, Boom. That's actually pretty cool. Boom. <laughs> All right, so that exploded. So change your explode to a bounce and make it so that Krypton bounces three times in five milliseconds. So there's something else called bounce, comma, and then we need to give it some parameters. And we want it to bounce three times, and it also needs to happen in 500 milliseconds. Our semicolon, save and submit. So now, two, three. So you see it bounces three times and it continues to bounce. Nice. So go ahead and change your bounce to slide. So it looks like we're going to be messing with this a little bit. So we're going to change it to slide and remove the two other inputs. So, so when we click it, it's going to slide back in 
to frame. That's kind of cool. Check out the code and then click save and submit. So we have a pound menu, accordion, collapsible, true, active, false. Oh, nice. So this is, you know, some basic JavaScript stuff here going on. Call the draggable function on the pound car. So, as always, get our document ready. Got it ready. Function. And then we want to say for our pound car, don't forget the parentheses, we want to dot draggable let's see if this just works right away so alright yeah so I was thinking that maybe we might have to create something that says on click but click being held down so nice, we can move this around a little bit. That's pretty cool. Call the resizable function on your div. So let's get everything ready. And so we want to select the div or any div and we want to call dot resize resizable and let's see when we select it resize me So now we can resize it left to right. Can we do up and down? Not so much. All right, cool. All right, in script JS, get your document dot ready. All right, so we have sufficiently mastered the document dot ready. I would say if there's one thing we can take away. It's document dot fucking ready. All right. Uh, so there's our document dot ready. Call the selectable function on the OL. Alright, so now we want to target the, our ordered list. And we want to say dot selectable. And let's see what happens. So now, ooh, now we can select. Can we hold down control? If you hold down control, you can do it as well. Select all of them. Nice. So in script.js tab, replace your dot selectable with dot sortable. All right. This will probably let us do exactly what you think. And now we can order them one by one. Nice. If you got you started in index.html tab, but a menu's no good with only one section, add two more like the first. All right. Then go inside menu, div, but after the section div one. Alright. So and we'll call this section two. I'm the second second. Second section. And we'll call this section three. I'm the third section. So just a little bit of HTML there. You know this part by heart, get your dot <laughs> see they they know they're this must be the the thing that people are just like, look, man, you have to have document dot ready or all your jQuery shit will not work. So just, it's a three hour course allegedly. Let's just pound this into their brain. If they if they know one thing, it should be by heart the document dot ready. All right, so go ahead and call dot accordion on your menu. So we're looking for our menu. And we want to call dot 
accordion with no parameters. And let's see our menu. A C C O R D I O N, not A N. And now you can see our little section has turned into an accordion. Doesn't look like it will let us not have one open though. Uh, click save submit and complete. You finish your first jQuery apprenticeship, but your, your journey's only begun. Share any cool websites you make with us via Twitter, and we'll retweet your favorites. Maybe I will do that. Um, so let's just go ahead and save and submit, and we have a finish, officially finished our jQuery course. But do not fret, young ones. There is the Make an Interactive website. I haven't tested this, so we're going to be using JavaScript and jQuery in here eventually to kind of get started. This is probably going to be a little, if it's anything like the developer project, it's going to be a little more difficult because they don't hold your hand as much. But that was our jQuery section. Nice little introduction. I really liked it. It made maybe web development a little more in enticing than it already was. But as always, questions, comments, concerns, video topics, WordPress topics are all appreciated. And don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you in the next video.